up everyone happy Tuesday I had to I'm just about to film here and I had to stop the dishwasher because it was being so loud um the one here at the workspace is we wouldn't use it often but knowing eventually we would probably rent this place out we're like okay it's pretty old it it's very loud <laughs> so it might be something we replace if we find a really good sale or something here in the next year but because it's so loud I was like okay I better turn it off so I'm about to film an empties video in here and yeah, I just want to say, hey, I feel like I, I don't know, I vlogged somewhat recently, but it feels like it's been a while. I think because the last vlog I did was a morning routine. So instead of over the course of a few days, it was all in one morning. So yeah, welcome to another vlog. It's time to go film. This is my empties tote. Well, this one is not empty. This one is. I usually will organize these. So at least there's some semblance of well, organization in the video. So that's kind of what I'm working on now. I usually do like beauty, skincare, body care, and then like miscellaneous. So we're gonna work on that. All right, we've got it kind of organized here. Skin care, body care, hair care. Um, I had a bunch of these bottles. The video I'm about to film is sponsored by Ritual. So I feel like I can choose what video I'm usually including something in, you know, depending on what the company's asking for. Empties are always a great one for me, in my opinion, for my vitamins, cause I always have, <laughs> I always have empties every month. It also tells me how many months it's been since my last empties video, but I also have some makeup and stuff. So I, if this video is up, which I'm sure it will be by now, I will link it below if you wanna see my reviews on all of these. All right, I'm in like a baggy running shirt because that we're, I'm gonna try to go on a quick run. It, we're in that weather season where it's absolutely like frosted in the morning, but then by midday it's like 62. So it's hard to dress for it, but it, I feel like it's still chilly enough in the afternoon to wear long sleeve. It was either this or a tank top right now. And I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna be chilly in the tank top. So I'm gonna try to go on a run. I'm really not in the mood to be honest, but I have this chunk of time. I told myself I'm gonna go out and if I'm running and really not vibing, I'm just gonna walk and enjoy a nice walk, which is also really good for me, both physically, but also mentally. So that's what we're gonna do. And then um, it is time to go get the girls and get our evening started, dinner, etc. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. I ran three miles, I did it. And actually, once I got started, it felt great. However, it was way too hot for this. I was sweating within like five minutes. I'm like, oh no, like more than I would during 60 degree weather. So I should have gone tank top. Future Jesse, if it is 60 or above, just go short sleeve, you'll be okay. <laughs> okay, so first of all, Christmas decor is mostly up in our house. However, you know, it's a long story. We got a taller tree from in here. Um, this one actually, if you were in this room with us, we love this tree. We're not getting rid of it, but um, it, we just have so much more height to work with and we both always wanted, I put way too much aquaphor on, we both always wanted a really tall tree if we ever had the space. So we bought one that's taller at Lowe's the other day and it is very similar to this one. Uh, hopefully we're gonna get it put up. It's literally in a box right here, here in the next few days, but we're both so tired today. So um, we're gonna have some PB cookies I made the other day. Uh, I actually made for my mom because they're gluten-free ones. It, they're not bad, but I don't. I think there's gotta be a better recipe out there. They were called old fashioned peanut butter cookies. They had no flour at all, like no, obviously they're gluten-free, but usually gluten-free cookie recipes would have a flour substitute. You know what I mean? Almond flour or whatever. This has no flour at all. It was literally sugar, eggs. I don't think there was any butter in it. It was interesting. They're tasty, but I don't know that I would need to make them again. I feel like, like I said, there's got to be a better recipe. Now, I have a really good personal, just regular peanut butter cookie recipe. But So, we're going to relax, eat some of these, watch, I don't even know what. We've been working through the show The Bear, but we've kinda, we kind of haven't watched it in a while. Maybe we'll watch that. I feel like we both are just too tired. We kind of wanted to play a game, but we're both like, I don't think so. I think it's just one of those nights. This one's like, yeah, I totally get it. So that's what's happening here. What's happening over there, guys? Okay, we are filming at a really weird angle. You are in my brushes. I wanna try something on camera and show you, but I don't know if it's gonna come through on this camera. I saw Kelly Gooch try the Jones Road pink powder in a different way than I've used it, and it looked so good on her, and I've been doing this the past few days, and I will never stop. 
So it's the loose pink powder. I tried it a while ago. I liked it, but I didn't feel like it was anything, you know, I needed to try. So I have these little powder puffs from Amazon and she was just getting, you know, just a normal amount on the puff, kind of work it in. And I feel like this camera is not as clear. It's my just like phone camera. Uh, but you would just set your under eye with it and even down there a little bit. And it is so blurring. I mean, I wish you could see it in person. And there's something about the pink tone with my skin tone. And I think it would work with a decent amount of skin tones. I know they have other shades and they have a darker pink too. But I just, there's something about it that does more than what a normal loose powder would do. And you're not really, just as she said, you're not really baking because you're not putting a ton on. You're putting just enough but I have been loving the way it looks. And especially I feel like in person, it looks really nice, which is so rare. So I am a convert. I don't know if that came through on the video at all or not, but big fan of this. I have never felt so surprised by the way, how effective something was than I was with this. So there you go. So we are now at our uh, library. They have a coffee shop. So we just got coffee and Tyler met us here because Felicity had her like 18 month checkup at the doctor so Gigi went with me and she got some shots but she was really good like she didn't cry much which was odd um but we're gonna check out some books and go play in the little kids area kind of wear them out before it's almost Felicity's nap time so but I got an iced latte with no flavor and it's really really good like, okay, Lizzie's napping we're at home and we're doing some uh, I found these the Principles Fairy, they were free. I can link it below. These little Thanksgiving principle things where you can um, use Play-Doh. And I know we've done some for Christmas, but I've never done Thanksgiving. So we're kind of working on some and we've got a creation over there as well. I think I'm the one that's more into the Thanksgiving ones, but whatever. Here's my turkey. Also another one I found, I don't, let me see if this I, okay, Preschool Play and Learn. These cracked me up. They're little cards, but you make the different Thanksgiving foods. <laughs> Genevieve and I were giggling at this one. <laughs> now, us giggling about this. That being said, these are actually really cool because one thing I've definitely learned about kids is it can be hard to be creative with Play-Doh without some sort of guidance. And then I feel like they hit an age where it's a little bit easier, but even something like this can be really tricky. So having this kind of like, if you can roll it out, then you can just form it into the shape, I think is nice for some kids. We've got a creation here. That's pretty cool, Genevieve. Wow. I made it. Good job. All right, you can see our messy closet. I've got like YouTube playing in the background over there. Um, Tyler and I are going on a date night and we're trying to prioritize this because we realized on our recent trip where it was just the two of us that we were like, we need this kind of time together. It is so easy to get bogged down where your entire relationship becomes, especially when you have kids, where your entire relationship becomes about the kids. And so we realized we have got to prioritize this. Like we always think, oh, there's next week. Oh, there's next month. No, no. Now is when it's important. And so especially when the kids are young. So that is what we're doing. Um, one of my sisters is coming over to watch the girls. And I feel like we've made, almost made this a monthly tradition where she's come over monthly. And she gets to spend time with them, which is just nice because we live like 30 minutes apart. So it's not wildly close. So it's nice that they get that time alone with her, like beyond just big family gatherings. And then we, of course, get a date night too, which is just lovely. So I, I feel a little date nighty, you know? I'm wearing skinny jeans. <laughs> I'm gonna wear these bad boys here. I can link from DSW, I absolutely love them. And then my little Ulta headband I can link that I'm loving when I don't really know what to do with my air dried hair. This is what I do. And then this necklace is my new fave. You've seen me wearing it in like everything. It's from Ana Luisa, I can link. Like it is exact, I love mother of pearl and I love hearts and especially when it's like dainty and, mm. and then some earrings Tyler got me two Christmases ago that I love. So we're going to see dueling pianos and I am so excited because that is something we are both into and we have not done that kind of thing in a very long time. They serve dinner. It's in like a really nice, like classy establishment, which we're into too. So very excited to have a me and Tyler this has become my like date night perfume. It's it's a lot for every day, but it is perfect for special occasions and date nights. So Dolce Gabbana, the only one 
lovely. I wish I would have gotten a smaller one because I feel like it's going to take me so long to go through this. It'll probably go bad before I do. So if you were thinking about buying this, just based on the way I described it, I would get the smallest one you can because like I said, I feel like it's too strong for every day, but it is the most perfect date night perfume. I just realized I didn't talk about the rest of my outfit. These are good American, really stretchy jeans. Like these pockets aren't real. The back ones are. <laughs> and then this is from Express. I bought maybe a year or two ago. Okay, the lighting is wild. And again, it, there's messes everywhere, y'all. Just this is real life. The lipstick. I'm wearing the Lawless lip liner in Nude Honey. You can hear the chaos. Pinocchio, my, my sister just got here. So everyone's very excited. But the new, well, this lipstick's not new. The e.l.f. O-Face lipstick, but I have it in the shade Dirty Talk I just recently bought. And I'm really liking it. So that is the lippy for the night. We are good to go. This is like the weirdest possible background, but <laughs> this is what I'm working with here. I've got to eventually, like I've said, get a setup for where I actually want to film and stuff. But it's just, I feel like this is the time of year when there's just so much going on. I think, and I don't mean just work, but just in life and like plans you're making with family and friends. And like, I think there's something about the like week before Thanksgiving, the week after Thanksgiving, like the, basically the three weeks between right before Thanksgiving to like the first two weeks of December are in the weirdest way more stressful than like the week of Christmas. And I can't explain it other than that. I think it's because everyone's wanting to get their gift shopping done. They're wanting to, there's like all kinds of different parties and stuff and no one wants their party to be too close to Christmas because then it encroaches on family things. And it's, it's just a lot and we are planning on hosting um, something for the holidays as well for some friends. So it's it's just gonna be an interesting few weeks, but I need to do something for myself. And that thing is I need to clean out my purse <laughs> so desperately. So I was like, I'm gonna film about it and vlog about it because if I do that, I will get this done. So that's what we're gonna do. How did I even get on that tangent? I don't know. So this is my purse from Uniqlo. I had bought for our big trip because it was neutral, it matched everything, it fit a good amount. It's very inexpensive. I would totally consider getting the black version of this because I'm kind of growing tired of this color. I kind of want like, I don't know, something about this color after a few weeks I get tired of it. So, but I do love it. I love the shape of it, it's super lightweight. You can fit a surprising amount. And of course you can wear it long, you can wear it crossbody, however you want. So this is what it currently looks like in here. It is just an absolute like pit. I know a lot of you guys can relate. <laughs> so let's talk about what's in here and what we can like take out of here. So I've got my wallet I bought from Kohl's. This was a Lauren Conrad one and I really like it. It fits everything. I used to have a smaller wallet and then I would have like this other wallet that had my other cards, but I was always having to switch things around and I was like, I just need a wallet that holds it all and I'll just carry that around. Then if I ever switch to my little like Dagny Dover crossbody small thing, I just pull out the few cards I need and then leave the wallet behind. So wallet, most important thing. I have my hand sanitizer from the Touchland brand. This is the Glow Mist hand sanitizer. I have my AirPod Pros. I love these. I got this little case from like TJ Maxx or somewhere, but it always comes off and it kind of drives me nuts. So I'm, I'm in the market. Um, but I do like that it has a little key ring on it because a lot of times, the few times I've gone to the gym lately, <laughs> very few, um, I'll just kind of ring this around my hand while I um, am going in and then I can just lock it up in the little locker there. But I don't know. I like having the little ring on it. I have some Tums, <laughs> some tissues. Things like this drive me crazy in my purse though, when it doesn't stick down and so then it's just like, I don't know why. I think that is one thing I love this purse, but there's a little bit of organization on the sides. There's like two side pockets, but I find myself needing like a small bag in here to corral some of this. So that's on me. I just need to do that. I know I have a small bag I can use at home. So I also have these sensitive wipes from the Honey Pot Company. I like that they have these individually wrapped. I think that's perfect. Probably don't need so many of them though. I feel like I just need one in there. I have my other watch band. This is the one I use when I work out. It's just like the Apple brand. It's so dirty. <laughs> I've really got to get myself together, you guys. Uh, this is the one I use more often than not from Amazon that I absolutely love. I have a sunglasses case with no sunglasses in it. 
And I wonder to myself how I continue to break my sunglasses. It is because I don't actually put them in or even like they'll just get scratched up. I just need to put them back in the thing. I have a list of measurements for, and like a list of Christmas things we wanted to get when we were doing some de decor shopping. I have um, one stick of gum left in this little, <laughs> my cuticle oil pen, the CND one that I love, I talked about in my empties video. I have pepper spray, a Bath and Body Works coupon, Oh, it's good, November 27th, so 20% off your whole purchase through all of, yeah, I will definitely use that. I have these little vials of eye drops for when Tyler first got LASIK. He needed these from time to time, so I had just a few in my purse in case we were out and he didn't bring them with him because I am a mother and I can't help it. Got a couple of ponytail holders, a little clip for my hair, my pill box organizer that's just got various, you know, Tylenol, ibuprofen things you might need. I always have this with me and people always need something. So I'm like the walking pharmacy. Now I also have, huh, old contacts of mine. These aren't even my current prescription. Oh, a ring that I, I bought from Ana Luisa and they sent me two and they were like, you can just, you know, keep it. And I was like, okay, but it's one I already have. So I am going to give this to a friend of mine. I put it in there to remember, and of course I forgot. One of my favorite little silky scrunchy things, these these are both from the same uh, pack. I love these, because they'll hold up my hair pretty nicely. They're not like the strongest hold ever, but they're strong enough, but they're also cute, and they're like cute on your wrist, you know? What's going on? I've been leaning on my desk for too, too long today. I have a couple of pens. I feel like a pen is one of those things I, lo I love having with me, because I always need one. I always end up needing a pen. I have the Ariana Grande, oh, Mod Vanilla Travel Spray. This stuff smells so good, but I do not think it lasts very long, but I absolutely love the smell of it. So love having that went out and about. And then lip products, I could actually use some of. I have the Lawless Forget the Filler Liner in Nude Honey, which is one of my favorites. And then I have the Tower 28 Gloss in Pistachio, the Ami Cole Gloss in Bliss. These all look the same. The Fenty Beauty Gloss and Fussy has been a favorite for a long time. One of my new faves, you've seen me wearing this in a lot of videos, the e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oil in Honey Talks. I'm gonna put some of this on. It's so comfy, it's not sticky. It's oily, but not overly so. It's kind of a good combo. I usually have, I'm just not realizing, I don't have my like mirror. I usually have my Makeup Forever powder foundation in here as well, because it has the mirror. I have the e.l.f. O Face Lipstick in Dirty Talk, this is my new one I got that I really, really like. The Shade Of, and then I have a nail glue from Glamnetic. This is the best nail glue I've found. That, like, these are dipped powder nails, but every once in a while when it gets close to, it'll like pop off, or like the back will pop off, and you can just kind of glue it down with this. Especially for me, I'll use it when I only have like a day or two before I go back in. That's everything. Oh. So I need to, like I said, first of all, I don't need this many lip products in there, so I need to whittle that down. Probably just gonna keep the e.l.f. Glow Reviver in here. I feel like that's plenty. I'm gonna put my wallet back in, my hand sanitizer, cuticle oil, and nail glue, pepper spray, and perfume. But I, see, I feel like all of these could go together in a little baggie, so that's what I need to get when I get home. Um, the Tums and my pill box thingy. Tissues, I'm gonna put in one of the side things so it doesn't drive me nuts. Extra hair tie is a good idea. My AirPods pen but I don't need both and then I need to find the sunglasses that go to this and put them in I'm gonna put these little things and the gum together in one of the side pockets I mean I feel like that's good it doesn't look that much cleaner but at least I know it's not a bunch of random things it's actually stuff I need so we're gonna call that good thank you for joining me on this project of at least getting rid of I mean I took out a lot of things I feel like all of these random things were in there that didn't need to be, and that adds up, you know. Oh, this is the other thing. Uh, the Oh, and my keys. How did those fall out? Okay, so my keys, but then this is one of those magnetic things that can go on the back of your phone, and then you can pop it out and watch your phone, but I like that it's magnetic. You can take it on and off, and you don't have to stick the pop socket onto your phone case forever. You know what I mean? This has been so perfect. That is all. We are, look at what we have on Home Alone 2. Uh, which Tyler was saying he still has never like sat and watched in the your life. I've seen, no, I've seen probably 70% of it in bits and pieces because it's always on like at your parents' house and we have it on, but I've never actually like watched it beginning to end, which is crazy.
That is wild. But also I had the realization today, because I love Home Alone 1 and 2. Kevin didn't learn a darn thing from 1. Because he is sassing it up after uh, Buzz calls him a trout sniffer Only to his mom. Darn. <laughs> he did not learn a thing, y'all. It's true, though. I can't believe it. Kevin is so ungrateful. <laughs> anyway, um, we are putting up some decor. We had some of this already up. We kind of did it in fits and starts this year. So we've got um, some stuff over here. I just put up this wreath we got at, was it Lowe's? Did I say wreath? Garland. Oh, I need to fix that little part over there. But anyway, that works really nicely. There's, It can do multicolor or white, which I love that you can change it up. And then the tree we normally have here, we move down to the basement because this one is much, much taller. I think I might have vlogged about that earlier in this vlog. So we're finally putting it up. I'm <laughs> looks it great barely, so far. <laughs> it barely fits in here. This it's corner, like exact, yeah. Exactly the right size. We could move the couch if we absolutely had to. Yeah. But, we to. but it should go all the way to the ceiling. Or I know, almost to the ceiling, which is gonna be great because we did not realize how short our other one was. So very excited. And then we have all of our stockings. I ordered these wooden name tags on Etsy. Last year, right? Big fan of those. And I shout these out every year. And I will probably shout them out in Vlogmas too. But these are the best. We used to have all the different decorative stocking holders. But these, other than just pulling the stocking down, which is fine. But I'm thinking about a little kid pulling things. This, nothing heavy, too heavy is going to come down. But the way it's designed, it's just a smart design where it'd be much harder to pull down. I don't know if that makes any sense. But anyway, love those. So, yeah. Coming along. I don't know if there's another cord I need to plug in. I guess I'll figure that out. Yeah. Well, and this one's in four pieces. The other one was in like okay, three. So oh, it does like Okay. Go. Okay. Tree is up. Now we've got to decide if we want to, um, like what we want to do by way of ornaments or beads around it or something. Because I feel like it needs something, but I I, I don't know. I'm not it's sure what. Spot, though, perfectly. It really does. And it just is just under. I'm so happy with it. And it. I don't remember. No. Well, you kind of saw it a second ago, but it can also do the multicolors. So it's really, I feel like it's cool that a lot of these are doing that now where you can do both. Because there are sometimes like, I like the white, but then, you know, in, on Christmas morning when we're opening gifts, I think it could be fun to do the color because that's what I grew up with is, did you have colorful lights oh, on yeah. your, yeah, very childhoody. Um, we are going today, it is Saturday, to see Frozen the musical and we're taking Genevieve and we are very excited so Nana just arrived, if you could hear Pinocchio barking, to um, watch Felicity, although she's just about to go down for a nap. She'll be napping a lot of the time we're going, which is, is what it is. But um, okay, I saw this tutorial the other day for bendy hair and it's, I, I tried it and it worked so easily and it's really fast. So I wanted to show, it's one of those like imperfect kind of tousled, that, again, she, she's, a, I don't know her name, but I feel like I see her on TikTok, et cetera always so I think she's like pretty big so a lot of you guys might have already seen this but it's so simple and most of us already have what you'd need so let me take down the next like layer of my hair here I just did Genevieve's hair in a French braid like an Elsa braid she's wearing one of her Elsa dress-up dresses we didn't tell her about it until today um, we've learned to just wait <laughs> and not tell kids things too early because so many things could change like she could have gotten sick and then like there's so much that can change so um, so we just told her and she's so excited. So I just put glitter on her face. She's, she is just, so you literally just take whatever beauty or, you know what I mean? Hot tool you've got and you just kind of wrap it a few times and then oh, see, it's hard to do while also watching myself. You just kind of go back and forth like this a couple times and then you let it go. Wow. That's actually even bendier, but I feel like that's so pretty. And that's a lot of times the look I want but my wand, like my barrel size will be too small, like this one, or it'll be too big and then it just doesn't stay. This, I mean, we'll see if it stays, but I feel like it's so perfect and it, it's simple. This is the T3 one with the like interchangeable. This is cool. Yeah, I, I'm super pumped. I know, I, like literally as I was watching this the other day, I was like, you know, it's not gonna be that different than what I already do, but I was like, I'm just gonna try it today. And I was like, okay. That actually <laughs> works really well, and I feel like it's pretty fast. Amazing. So, had to share that with you guys if you were interested in trying it. Let me know if you do try it and if it works, because I am loving the way that this looks. Okay, I know I'm like a million miles away, but I had to show you. I loved the way this worked on my front piece over here. It's hard to do on this side, but um, it looked so good on this side. 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, all done. Even in the back, I feel like usually you have to touch up bits of it. It worked perfectly. So yeah, showing you the front look. Isn't that perfect? I just feel like this is what I pretty much always want my hair to look like. And this was using something I had just in a different way. And it was easier. That probably saved me. If doing my hair like this, like once it's dry, if doing it took on a normal day, like 15 minutes, this probably took me nine or 10. So I'll shave five minutes off, gladly. I will take that five minutes. So yay, I hope you guys try it. Let me know uh, if it works for you. Especially if you have shorter hair, would that work? I feel like it could do that perfect little tousled, short, bendy look you might want as well. So anyway, let me know. Okay, so outfit of the day here. We have got this dress from Amazon. I was absolutely influenced to buy from another influencer. Um, but I like it because it has this V-neck, but this part, doesn't go straight across, it goes a little bit down, and I feel like that's just a little bit more flattering on a lot of people. And then I have gotten so much wear out of these boots. I feel like, especially in this kind of transitioning season where like today the high is like 55, it's not wildly cold. It's kind of nice to have something that's not full on heels, but it's not like knee high boots, I don't know. But they're not just my normal booties I always have. I just think these are a little, just a little different, a little cuter. So these were DSW. And then I've been wearing this heart necklace every day. You've seen in like every video ever. These are both from Ana Luis, I'm not realizing. Bought this one recently and this one I've had for a while, but that's the outfit. And I'm very excited. We're also very hungry. And now it's like, we only have like an hour till the show and it's 30 minutes away. So I'm like, maybe we get fast food. We'll just see, maybe they have like decent concessions and we can eat. I can pound some popcorn or something. Cause I'm definitely getting to the point where I'm pretty hungry. Okay quick Amazon haul because um, Felicity is napping and um, we also started filming Vlogmas so like that I, I look the same as I do in Vlogmas day one. What We're going to be out of town for a little while right before Vlogmas begins and usually day one of Vlogmas we would have live on December 1st but that is typically the day before because you have to be a day removed so that you have time to edit it, etc. Otherwise, you'd be editing and uploading the same night as the day you filmed and that would be crazy. So that's how we've done it for years. But since we'll be out of town literally up until December 1st, we figure this is exactly what we did last year. We film a couple days of a vlog into day one and that's what you'll see on December 1st. So you'll see a lot of other things that I have intentionally not vlogged about here in day one. So if you want to see that, we put our Vlogmas videos on Tyler's channel. So if you search Tyler Braun, I'll have his channel linked below as well. But if you search Tyler Braun, you'll find it. And that is where all of our Vlogmas videos, if you are unfamiliar with Vlogmas, it is something that has definitely become a tradition for us. And I know for a lot of you guys, based on your comments and messages and stuff, we've been doing it for <laughs> like, I mean, eight years, nine, I should actually look and see a very long time. Basically it's where we vlog and have a separate vlog video up every day for the entire month of December. It is so much fun. It's very similar to what I do here. So if you like this video or any of my other vlogs, I promise you will like Vlogmas because I'm doing the same things over there. I have intentionally no vlogs scheduled in December on my channel because Vlogging on top of doing Vlogmas is very hard. It's what I'm trying to do here with this video and it has been very challenging to separate. So a shameless little plug for that because we put a lot of work into it, a lot of love, and we so enjoy doing that and experiencing that with you guys every December. Um, I know a lot of you guys will go back in like July and do a Christmas in July and watch vlog past Vlogmas videos. And I think that's so fun too. It's something I was new to me that a lot of you guys said you did, which is cool. So that has nothing to do with that here, but Anyway, I want to share an Amazon haul because I've ordered a couple of things specifically for the holidays coming up, you know, holiday parties where I'm thinking towards Thanksgiving for one of these things, but some of them kind of work. A lot of them don't, but I think if I got the right size, I would like them. So I wanted to share them with you guys because I think some of you guys might be interested in them and a pair of boots that I love that were so much cheaper than, um, the ones I've seen like everywhere else. So these are the boots. I've been seeing so many versions of this everywhere, but they're so expensive. These were a lot less expensive. I definitely feel like they're more fitted in the calf. So it's something to be aware of, um, but I love the heel height. They're really, really comfortable. I put them on just with regular socks the other day to try them on. So comfortable. I'm envisioning wearing this with like opaque black tights, 
a skirt and like a cute sweater, like an oversized sweater tucked in at the front. I feel like that is a uniform for the holidays or for winter that you can just copy and paste with different sweaters, different skirt, but then do just black tights and black boots. It's such an easy, really pretty look. So very excited that taller boots are in. <laughs> Again, I just feel like all of the things that were cool when I was in like late high school, early college is in now and it's just funny and also how am I old enough to see this recycled again? I don't know, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So one of the skirts I got with that in mind is this one. Now I, have, I keep grabbing my coffee and not taking a sip. Hold on, baby Gigi cup. Okay, I have this skirt in like a black and white pattern and I wear it all of the time when we go out on a date, again with the same thing, like tights and heels or tights and boots, whatever. I love this because it has shorts built in amazing shorts built in so when you're wearing it with tights you're not going to be worried about like you know what I mean it's just really nice however I needed to size up I think I got this in a medium it doesn't say it's like a medium. I'm pretty sure I got it in a medium and um, I think I must need it in a large just to be more comfortable because I like to pull this up to my natural waist and it was just a little tighter than I wanted it to be but I do love this skirt I really should have just looked back on what size I got last time but the built-in thing, the fact that they have so many colors and patterns, so like this is more orangey. Again, I was thinking about Thanksgiving when I bought this, but I'm gonna return it. But, you know, like red and green plaids, like all of that I feel like would be really cute for a holiday party. So that's probably what I'm gonna be looking at next since this is not gonna be working for me this time, but I wanted to shout that out because this specific line of skirts is really, really lovely. So this other thing, I'll show um, this sweater on me right now. So it is, brown and kind of like a camel color and a light beige. I like that it's oversized. Again, I was thinking about this for Thanksgiving, but I don't know, I need to try it on with actual leggings because I'm wearing this with jeans right now and I don't like it with jeans. But I think if you had like dark skinny jeans or like dark black pants that were fitted or um, leggings, I think leggings and boots with this would be very cute, especially if you had like a brown boot, whether they were booties or tall boots. Um, so I'm not totally sold on this. I haven't washed it yet. I haven't detagged. I've just tried it on because I don't know that I love it as much as I wanted to. But before I return it, I'll try it on with leggings and see because this would be, in theory, what I'd want to wear on either Thanksgiving morning or Thanksgiving evening. We have two different things on that day, so we'll figure that out. The other thing I bought with that in mind, and it took forever to get here. I think it was on back order and maybe now it's not, is this really, really cute houndstooth open um, kind of button down, but it's thicker. It's a little bit heavier. So I think the idea is that you wouldn't necessarily button it up. You would just wear it open kind of as a shacket, but it's a little more lightweight than some of the other shackets I have. I love this houndstooth pattern. I think it is so, so pretty. I love the brown and white. I got, I think my normal size and I'll have all my sizing info and what size I actually ordered in the description box. Cause I don't know off the top of my head and it never says, oh, okay. It does. <laughs> medium. I would size down. This is humongous. So I'm going to see if it's not on back order. I'm going to order this again because I love the look of it, but it is way more oversized than I wanted. So there's a part of me that's tempted to order the extra small just to see, but I feel like the small should probably suffice, but I love this pattern and the look of it. And I feel like with a fitted shirt that would look really cute under it too, or whatever you want, but I like the idea of it. Again, I feel like with um, leggings, a fitted top, and this could look really, really cute. The other thing I got is this book. It's a devotional. I Okay, so I told you guys I've been doing that Bible study. Well, it ended, and I actually was really sad. I think they're doing another one like in the early winter. So anyway, um, so I was asking some of the ladies I always sat with if they had any Advent devotionals they really like, and one of them was like, oh my gosh, the Max Licato Licato books. So I ordered this one. They're very short, which to be honest, I actually wanted something a little bit longer. Their each day is only like two pages, but also thinking about, you know, the Advent season, like the Christmas season is, is a very stressful one. So I think that's kind of nice for a lot of people that you don't always have the time. So definitely something I'm going to be reading this December. I think that's perfect. This is the In the Manger, 25 Inspirational Selections for Advent. They, he had another one but I don't remember if it was more like a book book or if it was this. So anyway, let me know if you have any recommendations. I will gladly take them because I am all in for that. So what was the other thing? Oh, okay. I got a really cute, it's, I, I'm, I can't find it. I detagged it and I can't find it. I think it's in the car, but this really pretty light purple beanie. I have a bright pink one I got at Target last year and I so loved having that. I love the bright pop of color and the light purple is so beautiful. And is this the one that had like the, 
it has something on the front, but I just thought it was so cute. They had a bunch of different colors. They were very inexpensive. So I'll link it below. Those are the things I've recently got on, on um, Amazon. I almost said on Advent. What? I feel like sometimes I'm hitting like, I'm just nailing the things I'm ordering. I'm like, oh my gosh, I like all of these. And then there are those seasons where I order things and I'm really not liking a lot. Um, I should, I, I think my problem has been all of these, well, really mainly these two, I feel like if I had been more diligent about looking at the sizing information, I probably would have landed on a size that I liked better. So like I said, I'll probably reorder in the appropriate sizes and maybe a different pattern since we're passing the Thanksgiving season. <laughs> but yeah, that's the Amazon haul. And I'm gonna end this vlog here as well. Cause like I said, we've started filming Vlogmas, which is crazy. But I hope that you enjoyed. I love doing these kind of chill vlogs with you guys. Few days in my life, I think I will um, be very, I was gonna say, I'm gonna miss doing this, but I will be doing it in Vlogmas. And usually by the end of December, we need a break from vlogging a bit, but then I get that second wind come January where I'm wanting to because, you know, you're setting goals for yourself. You've got that bright hope for the new year and that always makes me want to vlog. So more vlogs will come on this channel, of course, come the new year, but I'll see you in Vlogmas. I'll see you in my videos here. Um, but like I said, they just won't be vlogs. Okay, Jess, they get it too, jeez. But yeah, I like don't wanna hang up the phone. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in my next one. Bye.